Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing so well. This is going to be my three makeup looks in just one day from gym to daytime to evening routine looks. And in between, I'm gonna be showing you how amazing the new Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water is. Like seriously, this is incredible. I'm gonna be showing you how I use it to take off my makeup in between one makeup look and another as well, and especially at the end of the day. So if you'd like to know how I go from gym today to evening makeup and all the in between, then just keep on watching. Let's be honest, some people don't like to wear makeup at the gym. I often do not whatsoever. Um, especially if I'm going in the morning, I'll just go straight to the gym, come back, wash my face and get on with it. There are some days when I'm extremely tired or I've not had a very good night's sleep and I just want something on my face. Each to their own, it's up to you how confident you are to not wear makeup. Some days I don't feel confident enough to not kind of put a little bit on, so that's just up to me. So it's each to their own with this. So I'm just going to show you what I would put on for a very, very light coat of makeup if I'm going for a gym session. Just starting off with the Bliss Triple Oxygen Radiance Restoring Mist. This is really nice just to insert a little bit more kind of moisture into very dry skin in the morning. I'm just going to go in now with the Dior Dream Skin Perfect Skin Creator. This is just really, really moisturising. It sort of has a little bit of luminescence back into your skin. Now I'm just going to add a bit of the MAC Prep and Prime underneath my eyes. Only a little bit just to kind of hide these dark circles a tad. Then I'm just going to add some of the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in vanilla. This is just one of those really great hydrating tints that just add a little bit more colour to your skin. Whilst you know that Bare Minerals is really quite good for kind of allowing breathable makeup. So this is kind of what I like to go for. I'm just going to rub that in with my hands because I don't want like a ridiculously heavy coverage. I just want it to just be this very fresh skin. So now my skin is just looking a little bit more alive, but then still barely anything really going on. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is in number three, because you know I like quite dark brows. But this will just add a little bit more colour and shape. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, literally a tiny bit, just to kind of redefine my cheeks again. That's literally it, it's a tiny bit of redefining of the cheeks. Then just for the lips, I'm going to use the Givenchy Lip Balm. It's a very cute light pink shade. And to finish, all I'm going to add is a little bit of powder, just so my face doesn't look too shiny. I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals. This is one of their new ones, it's got a matte and a more glowing one. So I'm just going to go for the matte one on an hourglass. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to do. No mascara, because I can't be bothered with the whole thing where you're rubbing your eyes, it's going everywhere. Literally just a more glowing and radiant base. That's all I'm after. So this is my gym look. Okay. So I'm going to move into my second look, which is my just very easy, everyday, simple makeup look. So I'm just going for a few meetings in the city. But of course, for those sort of things, I do prefer a more flawless coverage. And if I had been to the gym, my skin would be a little bit more sweaty, it would have perspired, and therefore I'd want to take off this entire makeup look. This is what I'm going to be using, the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water. If you know me well, you'll know I have had a few favourites when it comes to this kind of product in the past, and I've stuck to them for years, pretty much. However, this has kind of come along and totally rocked up my entire routine completely in honesty. I'm so happy because this is a fraction of the price of the products I used to buy because you know me I like to use waterproof makeup and therefore I need something that can remove waterproof mascaras, long-lasting foundations, long-lasting lipsticks, and just anything that can just remove everything super fast without leaving those smudges or dark lines. This is so brilliant. This is my second bottle that I'm on. Totally hooked on this product now. This has completely changed up everything, and like I said, it's just so much more inexpensive than everything else I've ever used. So I'm a little bit in love with this now. Give this a bit of a shake up to mix up the oil and water content, and then straight onto a cotton pad. I'm just gonna so simply wipe away 
everything. I also find this just feels nicer on my skin than some micellar waters often do. Like this feels like it's removing things, it feels like it's still kind of hydrating on the skin. I feel like this really keeps my skin hydrated. Okay, done! And on to look number two. Like I said, a very everyday, simple makeup look. Starting off with the Million Dollar Moisturiser. For foundation today, I'm going back to one of my absolute favourites, the Illamasqua Skin Base. And this is in 4.5, which is kind of like my no-tan colour. I'm just going to use some Morphe M439 brush. This time for concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Again, I like to take this on the back of my hand, pat that on with my ring finger. And I'll use my beauty blender to blend that in. Moving into eyes, I'm just going to use the Tom Ford, must be just like a cream eyeshadow pot in Spice onto the back of my hand. This is just a very simple, quick, easy eye look with one brush and one colour. I'm going to take off the excess on the back of my hand and use that brush now to blend. And then with a larger fluffy brush I'm just going to use my Lorac Pro palette. You can use any colour that is just like a yellowy soft beige tone. I'm just going to use that on my brow bone and I'm just going to help blend out those edges. Now for the rest of the base, I'm just going to take my Galan Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzer in number 3 Natural. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade of bronzer. I'm just using this as a bronzer and a little bit of a kind of defining bronze. So as always, the sides of my temples, onto my forehead, down my nose, a little bit onto my cheeks, and then I like to blend it down the cheek and onto the neck. I'm just going to powder it with a bit of the beautiful Galan Meteorite Pearls. Look like this. A little bit of blush. I'm going to use my favourite Kevin Aquan, the Creamy Glow Duo in Prevella and Janelle. And I always like to take this, the lighter of the two, onto my Real Techniques. Duo Fibre Contour Brush. Very light amount, I don't want too much because of the dark eyes. Let's put on some eyebrows. And I'll quickly do this because you've seen it so many times before. But just my Armani spoolie brush. My Eyebrow Maestro from Armani in Wedge. Finished off with the Illamasqua Brow Build. For mascara, just a little plump of my lashes. And I'm going to use one of my trusty faves, the Clarins Waterproof Mascara. Lashes done and all that's left is lips. I'm going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Naked for this one. I'm changing my mind slightly, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Crush. Just kind of around the edges, just deepen up the colour a little bit. I'm back from my meetings, you can probably tell, it's probably written all over my face that I've been out all day, a little bit of makeup has kind of gone from my face from earlier. So I want to get into look number three, and that is for tonight. Me and Alex are going on a bit of a date night. So I wanted to show you how I usually would spruce up my makeup from kind of day wear to evening wear, when I'm sort of going straight out and I don't have enough time to take everything off and put it all back on again. However, this liquid lipstick is very long lasting and extremely hard wearing. So I'm gonna use the Garnier Oil Infused Cleansing Water once again, just to take off my lipstick. Decant a little bit out and just swipe this away. Okay, so now we can start with some touch ups. 
It's all going to be pretty simple and almost just enhancing what we have now. So I'm just going to go back into the Illamasqua foundation again. Just take a little bit of that product and also a little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime in medium. I'm going to put a little bit of that on under the eyes. And then again on my damp beauty blender, use a bit of that Illamasqua and just start working it in to areas just to kind of enhance the foundation we already have. I'm just going to use the same powder again on the same brush and just go over any bits again just to make sure everything's sort of set down. I'm going to take a little bit more bronzer, a bit of the Clarins limited edition bronzer because it's just a little bit more kind of nighttime feels a bit more colour to it and again just going over my forehead and my cheeks okay highlights so I'm going to go with the Anastasia glow kit and I'm going to go for dripping in gold it's just a lovely bronzy gold shade so Eva Lux fan brush Now for the eyes, I'm going to kind of keep it quite simple and let's just go back into my bronzer and some of the more darker shades in here and just work into what we already have going on. Just a little bit more. I'm just going to smoke a little bit out underneath my lash line as well. I'm going to use a little bit of the L'Oreal La Palette Nude in Rose. A very light shade straight into my inner corners. Just to intensify the whole eye look, I'm going to go with the Lancome Grandois Liner. more mascara and to finish we just need some lips so I'm gonna go with the Clinique Intense Passion I like that a lot but I really want to put this on this is the Anastasia Candy Apple I'm gonna put a little bit of this over top why not one last thing I want to do actually and it's just to tight line my eyes with a black hole. And we're done! So those are my three looks in just one day, gym to day to evening. Let me know which was your favourite look down below in the comments. I wanted to finish this video with a full face of makeup because I am just about to take everything off using the same Garnier Micellar Oil Infused cleansing water once again and I wanted to show you just how strong it actually is to take off waterproof mascara, long lasting lipsticks, foundation, everything. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you did like it, that would make me super happy and I guess I'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Mwah. Sorry guys, just one more thing. Since filming this video, so many people have been showing their love for the Garnier Micellar Water all over social media. It's getting so much love. And so Garnier have launched a competition where you can win a water-themed breakaway. I love this product more than any other cleanser I have ever used. And it seems that so many of you feel the same way. So all you need to do is use the hashtag MyLoveForMicellar on Twitter and on Instagram and let everyone know what you love the Garnier Micellar Water more than. It's an amazing competition, so good luck to everyone that enters. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you soon. Bye. Mwah.